You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's America's Next Top Model After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's America's Next Top Model After Show. Thing is for doing, everyone. We're doing another episode recap of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 20, Episode 12, The Guy Who Has a Panic Attack. Joining me as a special co-host, uh, Marvin Cortez and Bam Erickson. So let's get right into it. What did you guys think about the episode? It is an amazing experience, uh, in my opinion, having everyone go to Bali. And we have a special uh co-host on the line with us, Corey. Hello, how are you? We are good. How are you doing? I'm doing oh so well. How oh, are you hi, Corey. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure you recognize his voice. Oh, hi, Corey. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. I saw some confessionals I didn't like, so we're going to talk <laughs> about that soon. Oh, <laughs> <Just> sorry. <laughs> So we also have Bam Erickson on the line on in the studio with us. Um, so Corey, we just want to go into the episode and talk about your experience, well, everyone's experience arriving in Bali, and um, what you guys thought about uh, the location. Was there anything special going on that we didn't get to see in the episode? Well, you know, Bali was beautiful, of course. Um, an experience I would trade for nothing, however, it would have been a lot easier <laughs> if I didn't have all the children to deal with. What? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Oh, Corey. <laughs> so, Corey, this Sometimes is... Sometimes it's just hard to get my children to behave, and it brings... It just upsets me, you know. Okay, well, Corey, this is Bam Erickson. So thank you for um, thank you for being our special call-in guest. Um, I have a question. You said, speaking of children, I notice in this season you do tend to play the parents a lot. And my question right. for you, my question for you is, why? Do you are you why? doing it? Yeah, um, are, are you doing it? Um, are well, you? I just go ahead. I will tell you why. I really want my my living environment to be a harmonious one you know what i mean it makes the stress less on me you know trying to do well in the competition you know having everybody arguing constantly all of the time it definitely draws my attention away and it you know it really steals everybody's focus so it really is in their best interest to stop the fighting and focus on the competition as well as in mine so that i can focus <laughs> mm -hmm. do you think your confessionals sometimes are contrary to what you do on the camera <laughs> Like, you'll try to break a fight up, but then in your confessionals, you'll be making fun of somebody crying, maybe? And, but when <laughs> I don't know what you think. You sound like you're implying something. Uh, no. so, so, Corey, uh, let's get into the episode. You, we open up with uh, you guys on the way to the resort, and everyone is in the, the bus, and... Um, you know, there are some things that are said about Jordan, and people are making fun of her for uh, not being so acquainted with her environment. And there were a couple of things that you said, which Marvin feels like he should be taking the credit for, but you were the one that... Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not coming at you, Corey. You know I got nothing but respect. But uh, it was just no, funny in that... in what way? I want you to elaborate. Uh, it just came out funny because I remember when it, she was just, like, being annoying and, like, keep repeating stuff. And I was the only one that was like, uh, Jordan, can you stop? Because it was like, it's getting annoying. We just finished a long flight, and you were here running your mouth about dogs and, like, poverty. And I'm the only one who said something. <laughs> and then everybody called me a, a ho for it. And they didn't even show that part. So I feel like... They used your confessional instead of using, like me, I was there and I was being real and I was like, everybody was thinking it. Yeah. And when I said it, I was like, I'm just saying what everybody's thinking and then come confessional, everybody was thinking it, I feel. Because I'm sure that everybody else was like, Jordan was being annoying. But nobody wants to be the Listen, bad guy. 
<laughs> she can't help it, and that doesn't make her annoying. You know what I mean? Um, At that moment. <laughs> however, you know, she hasn't been exposed to very much, evidently. I don't really know. But I was honestly just quoting what she said. I wasn't trying to come at her. I wasn't trying to, you know, stir up any drama. But, I mean, that was her exact quote almost. I mean, obviously, I threw a little... <laughs> a little shade. It was fun. No, I don't think Corey's like that. Corey's not. I was just, really, you know, it was restating funny. what had already happened. No, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I need to side with Corey, and I just, you know, love the, you know, the harmony that you do try to bring in the house, and... Um, you know, yeah. just try to ease up the tension that is going on because it seems like there is a lot. And uh, we got right. some f feedback and some insight into the house and the situation and how, you know, you guys are all away from your family for an extended amount of time. So it can get frustrating yeah. uh, having to be in a house with different personalities yeah. and trying to get along. So uh, we understand that and we hope the viewers do as well. But going into the house, we see Nina's picture up on the screen she won uh the best photo the week before and she gets the tire suite yeah. she was talking about sharing it with someone did she end up taking anyone with her into the tire suite i don't recall seeing uh, or was it i think just, she did you she pick didn't you see it. that is true but she did end up picking yours truly <laughs> <laughs> so after she is she is a sister at heart. So, to me. so Corey, so Corey, I have a question. So, when you guys um, go into the suite and you guys have all the outfits, like, do you guys get to pick one outfit and one accessory? Like, how much of the stuff you guys can actually take with you and keep? It is a head-to-toe look, honey. They provide us with a <laughs> shoes shirt, included, a jacket, pants, a belt, um, a watch, shoes. So nice. you know, and, and you know how expensive. Yes, can be so like to get all of that for every single have you gotten your you know, outfit yet or like, no whoa <laughs> i'm expecting my i still haven't got a guess i don't know what's going on have you gotten it yours Corey? <laughs> Me neither. I didn't <laughs> jeremy said he got his already well anyway continue. well <laughs> let's let's jump in the tub and start discussing um the confrontation you guys were having with chris h so both of you guys mm. were in the hot tub and i want you to break it down to us and the the listeners and the viewers what was really going on what triggered that conversation um you know talking about chris h and how he should have been the one uh that went home the week before uh you, Mm -hmm. What what is the why is there tension? Why is there so much tension between Chris yes. H and everyone else in the house? Corey, I'll let you handle that one. Because <laughs> you know, I, I will I like handle Chris this H. one. I'm glad you're asking me because I do kind of want to clear this up a little bit because it you know has been sparking a lot of controversy and people keep asking me about it. Um, I will say, I think the best way to put it is I think it's pretty obvious, <laughs> like the way that everyone is reacting that sort of gives you a hint that there is something about Chris that isn't being 100% displayed on television. And I'm not trying to trash talk him or, you know, say anything like terrible about the guy because I think he does have good intentions at heart, but he really was rubbing people the wrong way in a lot of other ways. He would constantly, you know, say things that were just offensive. He would start arguments, start fights, and he would create a lot of the tension in the house. Now, a lot of this wasn't shown, you know what I mean? It's, it seems to me that like, you know, for editing purposes or for whatever, that it's not being shown. And I do want to voice that like, you know, he is, he has been sort of like the cause for a lot of the drama that seems so small and seems so stupid, you know what I mean? But it always comes from a source and I don't know. I agree. I just, I just don't, I don't 100% trust the guy because of it. Um, and I think that's why you know, sometimes in confessionals, it seems like I'm, like, totally against the guy. But I'm really not. Like, I, I don't I don't hate anyone. I really don't want to like, try. I, I, I'm like, not trying to try to talk them, but I have to speak truthfully. They're just showing you know, the bad parts, though. Like, there are moments where him. Chris is cool and we're all, like, getting along and it's, like, we're all, like, laughing or we'll be chilling. And then they'll show the one part of that one week where we had that, like, 10-second fight. And they'll show it and they'll look like the whole week that we just didn't get along. It seemed like it was more you guys against him than we, we didn't get to see a lot of his actions and what triggered a lot of the commotion yeah. that was going on in the house. And you felt strongly um, about the fact that Kelly Catron was 
uh, keeping him on and yeah. giving well, him. Well, me and Corey nine. both did. That's why we had that little conversation. <laughs> but like you see it again this time. She gave him a nine, and it was like Don could have stayed, and. I just feel like, you know, the judges give whatever points. I honestly thought Don had a better picture than me. That's why I was upset because it's like one of those things where you get kept because of TV purposes maybe. Mm -hmm. So I was I honestly thought Don had a better picture. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to like you don't want to you want to win knowing that you did your best, not you don't want to like I mean, go I into the fight. Say that because I do believe that I mean Kelly Control and she she be I mean, careful, like, Corey, because she currently. may be you know, watching this. That's, like, <laughs> that's like why I was so surprised. Like that's like why I was so surprised. You know what I mean? Because I, I think that she is very knowledgeable. She knows the industry. Like she's, you know, she's just like, you know, you don't don't mess with her knowledgeability because I know she has it. So it's like it was weird to me. So cool. I think we can Sorry. all agree. I mean, like whatever. Everyone has a different aesthetic and a different viewpoint. Maybe his photos were great. Hey, Corey, you know? I have a question. I've asked. Um, I've asked both Marvin and Dom since they've been on the show. For me, the judging for the photos seem a little flip-flop. Sometimes one person may give a six, one person may give a nine, one person may give a... It, I'm unsure what the criteria is, and Marvin did kind of give, um, a lot, give us a perspective last week. But what do you feel about how the numbers can go literally from like a four or five to to a nine and ten between the three judges. What do you think about that? Oh my God, Marvin, didn't I get like that? It's like that was like the most nerve wracking part. Like when you're ready, like that is like <sighs> because you never know what number they're going to call. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It seemed like every single week they had a totally different opinion about you and what they wanted to see from you. And yeah, you could tell like the judges disagree a lot of the time. You know what I mean? You'll get a, a ten from Tyra and then a, a six from Rob, and you know. For, for me, like that, that happened quite frequently. <laughs> yeah, I feel like sometimes it, I even yeah, it, 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 it goes, it plays against you because sometimes like Rob and Kelly will have an argument and Kelly will give her score and because they're arguing and say Kelly gives like a six, because they're arguing, Rob's like, you know what, I want to make my opinion heard so I'll be like, I'll give you a ten. And that happens sometimes like because they're arguing, they'll want to up their point system. Like that's why you see I think last episode someone gave like a, a nine or a ten, and, and Tyra was like, "What? You're gonna give her a ten for that?" Or, and it's I just remember. like they just want to. It's like almost an ego thing. I feel sometimes. I'm anxious to get into uh, the first challenge. Uh, you guys had you, as soon as you arrived, uh, you had to do a swimsuit shoot, yeah. but it was underwater, where you guys had to do a runway walk underwater. How was that experience? Corey, you want to take that? Corey was oh awesome God. underwater, and so were you. Thank you. I mean, I can't imagine <laughs> being underwater, far less, you know, walking and trying to do it a runway. So, so I applaud anyone that easy. was able to do it. I want I want everybody that watched the show to try it because it's not, people was like, why is he going so slow? Or like, <laughs> it's really heavy. The, he the helmet is heavy. You can only move so fast. And it's like, that is so true. you can't do anything down there. Yeah, so, it's really difficult. Like, especially Corey, they were like, he didn't look good in the bathing suit, so they gave him a low score. That was a little bit unfair. Because the 69 oh, slam designer yeah. didn't like it. It's yes. all what they want. I was hurt in the moment, but, you know, I'm fine with it now. Whatever. And I will still rock a swimsuit any day, baby. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm being photographed or not. <laughs> because I, I think I look good, and in the end, that's all that I think so, too, Corey. How was uh, Dawn's hey. and Nina's situation? Do you guys feel like that played uh, against them, even though it was a medical condition, um, something that was out of their their control? Yeah. I think because it was out of their control, no, I don't think that it played against them. I think what they're being judged on after that point is sort of how they handle the situation. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you can either let it defeat you, you can be bummed out because you didn't get to do it, or you can show up and show them, you know, I'm I'm that professional, you know what I mean? Like, even though I'm disappointed I can't do it, I'm still going to give you the best that I can give. And I feel like they could have gotten hard words if they, you know, acted in that manner. I do wonder, Don really wasn't featured, per se, in, a, in the sense of you got to really hear, like, th things about him. And the one time where we finally hear something about him 
just so happens to be the show where then he's kicked off the show, which I notice that happens sometimes in some of the in the past shows. That happened with Kanani it with, happened with the, yeah. the clown, the girl mm -hmm. that's afraid of the clown. Yeah, yeah, um, I think clown. it's happened a couple of it times yeah. where they preamp. So it's kind of, for me, it's kind of like a day giveaway. Once I saw, oh, Don's getting featured now. Oh, he's. I, I was like, okay, I think he's going home. But what I found mm -hmm. inter what I found interesting was you did, um, Marvin. You did let us know that he did have uh, he had a anxiety. he has anxiety, but. But no disrespect to Don. Oh, hold up. But it seems. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I'm just saying. Yeah, I need that's to split my you guys up. Friend. It just. It, oh my it's, God. You have to watch out. They have the. That's worst my best. Story that's right my now. best friend. I, under, I understand Corey, that. Corey, we need you in the studio over here by our side. I know. <laughs> I, under, I understand that, but it seems like the cameras were. It seems a little extra. You think so? I do. And like when he was. When they put the towel to his face and he was allegedly crying. Yeah. Uh, nah, I was, he was crying. He was. Yeah. Okay. I wish they would have let us saw the tears. Well, where nah, were you didn't. cuddling with Renee? I was too busy trying to flirt with the <laughs> designer girl so she could give me a better score. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you know what? If there wasn't anything going on with Renee, I would totally think there was something going on between Marvin and Don. Just saying. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Is... Okay. Well, why? Why is that, Corey? Don't, we want some insight don't in that. Don't that. But because. No, but listen. Here's the full thing. But because the Renee thing is happening, and you know, I can officially. I think I can start to announce the title because they put it in the next preview. Oh. They are Marnay, like, for sure. Like, Marnay? Renee and Marvin are Marnay. Whoa. Awesome. Like, <laughs> because, that, because, because they are, I don't think that there is a thing going on with them, but, you know, I had my speculation at first, but I'm like, why? Like, they are, like, ride or die. Like bros till the end, and they just met. Like I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're but like that with Nina. Funny, you're you know you're I mean? like ride or die with Nina. So I, I would I like am. it. Ha I mean, <laughs> the show like you had either a really strong relationship or you had like not so much that it, like after the show's over, you don't really keep contact. And I think I think with guys, yeah, it's if there's one common denominator, immediately you can become friends. If Whether if it's sports or if it's a team or anything, friend, uh, guys can, yeah. can click a little quicker than girls, in my, in my opinion. Definitely. So are you guys still um, a couple? Me and Don? Um, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You take your pick. Which one do you want to pick? Well, we're uh, fine with either one, him. so you let us know how you want to go. <laughs> Don's going to be like, oh, my God. Um, me and Renee, I don't know. Well, I'll say whatever. Uh, we still talk. I think we're doing like the long distance thing. We talk every night. Um, literally yesterday, we I was I was talking on her at like five in the morning. We mm -hmm. usually call each other every night um, and text like mm -hmm. throughout the whole day. Yeah. So you guys are an so, item yeah. or just dating or well, what? What is it? As soon as the show ended, we were still together, at item. Uh -huh. But since I was in LA, she was in Miami. It was kind of like confusing. Um, but now we see it's like we're st it's like been so many months and we're still talking so I think there's something there maybe she's just jealous of Dawn true true mm. sorry Dawn. I, I, I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> but Corey did uh, come up with the Marnay title he was the one that yeah. actually came up with it not the CW I thought it was just really funny because they're laying down in bed and you guys are cuddling and then Jeremy decides to put the pillow oh, down yeah, the to fort. peek over <laughs> He was being so annoying. He was like, "Oh, I see you guys like I had no game." Well, I don't I don't really have game, but if I did have any that We were night, thinking that too in the, you know, when we started the recap, but when, when you <laughs> We got, obviously see we were wrong. Well, I had to have some game. <laughs> when you got when you guys are in bed, some of the comments that you were making to her, I thought was <laughs> like what? Um, you said something about like her smile and her skin. I said her lips are soft and her hair is wet. And her skin is soft. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think, I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Well, you guys let us know what you think. Uh, log on to iTunes, rate, comment, uh, give us five stars. We really want to hear your comments and just, you know, theories of what you think might happen in the next episode. And also on Serial Buddies. Where can they find that, Bam? You guys can go to www.serialbuddies.com. It's a great comedy. That's with some of um, some of the uh, cast from After Buzz uh, TV with Marie Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, who was the who was the writer and director, and it stars Henry Winkler, uh, Kathy Lee Gifford, and a couple other people. So make sure you guys go to www.serialbuddies.com and you guys can download it um, for I believe four ninety nine. 
Okay, so moving on to uh, the actual photo shoot, you guys um, were working with animals, um, and it was featuring a very well-known photographer, uh, Lynette Newell. Yeah. And she's, you know, done so many different pictures with um, with animals and just nature. And you guys had to, uh, you were taken to the Bali Safari and Marine Park, and uh, you had to embody and pose with different animals. Yeah. So uh, you had to, well, let's start with Jeremy and Renee. They were leopard. <laughs> yeah, they had the leopard. I wanted the leopard. Can we, uh, can we go through the pictures? Do we have the pictures up, Marissa? Yes, one second. All right. Awesome. So how was that experience? Well, Being... for my animal, like I had the macaw. And yes. The macaw? Yeah, the macaw. And it was pretty cool, but it's like the animals, you can't control them, so it's like really hard to work with something that's like very unpredictable. Oh, I see Corey's picture. So we have Corey. So we have Corey uh, fierce. first. <laughs> Corey, you're fierce. Corey, what did you think about what did you think about the photo that they um, that they selected for you? What did you What was your opinion about your photo? Oh, I was so thrilled to get to work with the orangutan because you know it seemed like the orangutan would be not only the easiest to work with, but like. Her name was Chloe, and she was, like, the sweetest oh. of, and the most affectionate of all of the animals, you know what I mean? And we got a chance to sort of bond before we went on set, and she was sort of, like, mimicking me, you know? Like, we were playing, like, a mime game before we went on set and, like, started shooting, and I just felt, like, the energy, like, sort of, like, feeding off of her and, like, sort of, you know, I, it, it felt like a cool synergy that we had. Did and you? when we got into, you know, shooting, I thought... It only, you know, it helped the performance. And she, oh my God, I miss her so much. Like, she was so cool. Um, yeah, I enjoy, I, didn't, I wouldn't have chosen any other animal. And I'm happy I didn't get the bird because, you know, it seemed like they were moving, <laughs> moving a lot. And uh, I don't know if I could have handled that. Yeah. Hey, Corey, do you, agree with the, um, do you agree with the judging on what they thought of your photo? Um, Before you go, let me say I don't, yeah. so. Oh. <laughs> In a good Aww. way or a bad way? No, and I don't agree with the judges. Oh. They so, yeah. well, Kelly made a couple of comments that I was I thought it was a little bit too extreme, but you know mm -hmm. that's just her. Yeah, Kelly. You know, I, when it comes down to that, I feel like I, I just really, really respect their opinions. You know, the judges they obviously they have the experience and they have the clout and they know a little bit about what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Because of their industry experience, so which is like way more experience than I have. So because I was there to learn and there to grow, I, I sort of just like took everything that they said to me and used it in application mm -hmm. to, you know, my craft and like to try to improve upon it. Like I wasn't like in disagreement ever. I was just like, okay, I can use this to sort of like do better next time. You know what I mean? And the whole point of the challenge is to uh, embody the the animal and to be one with the animal. And I think you did an amazing job. And the picture come you know came out great because it's not about the animal; it's about you being in the picture. And if you look at some of the other contestants, uh, I think the animals overpower or overshadow them in, in the picture. But that wasn't the case right. with you. And I think right off the bat. As soon as you stepped out, Kelly made a comment about what you were wearing and how you were dressed and shipping you back. And I thought, well, that's kind of inappropriate because everyone has their own sense of fashion and style and they should have the freedom to express how they feel, you know, coming to panel. So right. was there a certain dress code you guys had to follow? Um, no, there was never a dress code that was given. It was sort of like... Per se. Um, Mar Marvin doesn't sort of think... Like what I say, because every well, time, I feel like we well, were pressured to look very, very, like, our best because, like, even Nina had got, I think, one point taken off one time because she was in, remember that one episode, Kelly was like, I want to give you, a, I want to give you an eight, but because you're dressed like that, I'll give you a seven. It has well, nothing to do with yeah, the picture, know, but she's trying to promote but it. But you know what, just like the real industry, when you go to a go-see, when you go to a casting, I mean, that, like, what you're sort of, what you look like in front of whoever is casting you. Yeah will be a deciding factor sometimes, you know what I mean? So it's important. So getting that feedback, even even getting that feedback from Kelly, you know, as defensive as it seems, like I wasn't mad about it at all because I was just like, okay, what she's telling me is that if I want to go into a professional uh, go-see or whatever, she was giving me the industry opinion, which is like, you know, 
I am all for free expression, free self-expression, and I do believe I should be able to go into a casting in high heels if I feel like wearing them that day. But, hey, let's face it. This is the entertainment industry. It's something that I am constantly frustrated with. I'm not going to lie to you. But Kelly was giving me her industry opinion, and that's, you know, that's the nature of the beast, unfortunately. I've seen worse, and I don't think they've been called out. So just a personal opinion. Oh. But I also think, yeah. I also think no, Kelly... Really she's the new what was the she's the she's a new Janice where she's just harsh sometimes to maybe test the contestants so maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe. yeah. she's, I, I she's harsh really but she's a, I, she's so nice like i don't i feel like i don't know if it's a bad thing but like the t and tv she's like you know harsh and gives good critique but like off camera she's like the sweetest woman like she's so nurturing and she like cares for her daughter so much and she's just so nice to all of us mm -hmm. and it's a shame that we don't get to see that sure. side because they want the Kelly Catrone, PR Maven, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. boss lady. But No, I'm know. sure. I mean, we've seen her in yeah. prior uh, episodes where she was being um, genuinely caring for Renee when she was scared of um, yeah. That's the, the real costume. Side. So we, we have seen that. I just thought it was a little bit... Up with Leah too. That was another yeah, she does care so yeah. much. Yeah. And it's almost like she's like, I wish I could console you, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next yeah. picture. Uh, we Nina. have Nina. Uh, Nina is with the Python. And I don't know why we got to see the backstage footage of, you know, them, you know, telling her how they don't have a good shot and she's just not working it. The Python is out of the frame. And when we see her picture, it's amazing. Yeah. So, was that reality? Were they really uh, telling her all those things? Uh, because if they didn't have a good picture, this wouldn't, this would not have been number one, or the top photo of this week. So, how did they decide? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't mean, know. Sometimes Johnny would see what he sees on the camera, and he'd be like, "Oh, I don't think we have it," and because he's just looking at off as, like it's just off the camera so you he doesn't have like the finished product like you know fo maybe photoshop or like some touches up yeah. but when every you know time Tyra said it best i had a conversation with her um where she was talking she actually said like i asked her about the photo selection process i'm like how do you guys pick which photos the best you know what i mean because that's one of like the top model mysteries right and she was just like what is best you know what i mean like my what I think is your best could be totally different from what you think is your best. So what it is is a collaboration. It's like a bunch of different opinions. You know, sometimes hers is included, sometimes hers isn't. And you know, the photo that you know is totally it's gonna you're gonna have to like polar opinions. Like it should. A prime example is how like every single judge it calls out like a totally different number. You know what I mean? So it's like what is best really? That, that's true. I mean, I, I have to agree. Everyone has different tastes and styles and what they consider to be the best. But um, it, it's really hard to see her crying on camera and suffering, especially from mm -hmm. the previous challenge where she couldn't participate in the challenge and she had to do an alternative challenge. So having them give her that feedback where it wasn't so positive um, w was emotional for her, and you've yeah. been there quite a, a lot for her, Corey. And um, yeah. do you think that, um, in a way, that's a little intimidating for Chris because he was the one in the picture? Nina brings it up in this episode, saying how she looked over when she was crying, and Chris didn't really care, and you were the one that was comforting her. So, do you guys yeah, have any I mean, tension because of the Nina situation, or is it just? tension in general being in the house uh, i mean it's like it's, it's just like another prime example of like you know them not showing all of like the chris antics that take place on the show you know what i mean <laughs> especially in regards to the chris nina relationship um because a lot of people were like oh my god chris and nina like totally rooting for them and then when you know th their relationship totally fell apart like in the beginning of the you know, in the beginning of the season, a lot of people were let down about that, and they didn't really get a whole lot of insight into, like, why that took place, really, you know? So, ever, like, after that took place, I was like, you know what, I need to step in because mm -hmm. I sort of saw her focusing more on that than on herself, and obviously that's going to be detrimental to you in a competition. So I wanted to be there for her because, you know, <clears throat> she's a really great person and an awesome friend, and 
I, I adore her. I really do. Corey, do you think, do you think um, by you sometimes helping out other people, um, will it affect you in any way in any other episodes coming up? Yeah, but I have to be honest with you. I don't want to compare my best to someone else's okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In a competition, I really want everyone to just gun, especially if we're living together. You can't help but form bonds with some of the people. You know what I mean? You start to learn about them. You start to learn a little bit more about where they came from, and you start to gain sympathy, you know, whether you try to or not. And I feel like that had a lot to do with it. Like, I actually wanted to see my friends do well. Marvin is the same way. I mean, he made an, an amazing friend in Don, you know what I mean? You, and you're my friend too, Corey. That's why he gets upset when Don does that, because he wants to see him do well as his friend. Yeah. Well, no, he I was, get what he's saying. He was pretty happy about Nina not doing so oh, well I in this clear episode. That up. I want to clear this up. <laughs> I do not want Nina to have a broken yeah. ankle. That's so out of context. That was during a runway, during that first runway with the nylon, the nylon runway with the spinning tables. Uh -huh. I had made that confessional, like, a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. And the fact that they put it, like, I do not want Nina to get hurt. I think that's just, I guess I should have never said it, but... I would never want Nina to get hurt, and I tweeted her about it too. It's like I like everybody knows I love Nina, and we still have a relationship after this show, or whatever. But everybody was like, "Why do you want someone to get hurt?" Of course, I don't want people to get hurt. Like, yeah, I want her to die underwater. Marvin, it's okay to have a competition mindset, though. Don't feel bad. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just like they put it. They made it seem like I want Nina to die or something. Like, yeah, let's get her done. So I can <laughs> no, no, they didn't. <laughs> like Jesus. Well, I, I'm not a villain. I didn't think you wanted me to do that. Okay, well. let's go on to the next photo. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Um, Jeremy was a leopard as well. They complained about his legs cut I off. I thought he did great. I thought he used his body good. I think what happens is sometimes a judge will say something negative and you'll look at the picture completely different. And then someone will say something positive and then you'll look at it completely different again. So I think... You should look at the picture before the judges speak mm -hmm. and then make up your decision and then... Because it's so influential. Tyra could be like, I love this picture and I love the way you do this. And then you'll see it because she said it. And then I think that's a big fact because I love this picture of Jeremy. I think it was best picture worthy even though we had that one fight about not being best picture. But I thought it was best picture I, I love the picture. I think for the first time... Sorry, Jeremy. We all love you over here. But I think for the first time you're uh, looking like a model. And the only thing I'm not fond of are the lips, and I don't know why they used really light pink shimmer lipstick, lip gloss the on his that lips. That was so bad. You know, when Tyra was talking about him looking feminine, that's the whole point why he looks feminine are the lips and the makeup that they have on him, not necessarily his body mm -hmm. and his face the because makeup. he, you know, he looks masculine. The, the picture is great. Yes, the legs are cut off, but, you know, that's from up to the photographer, not him. He's just posing. It's how they take the picture. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just seeing him behind the scenes and how he was able to work and take control of the, the leopard. And he yeah. was just completely, uh, you know, in control of the whole shoot yeah. was surprising to see him for the first time ever. Um, what do you guys think about it? Corey, uh, you're more than welcome to give um, him your two cents. Sure thing, right? Um, I sure thing, honey. absolutely adore Jeremy, first, let me say. I think he's such a sweet guy. He's so he's just so pure, so innocent. You know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> there was a funny comment that one of the judges made. Pure and um, innocent, huh? And, 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 it didn't, and it didn't air. And so I just want to share it with you because it was really funny. Um, <laughs> Rob Evans, his first impression when he saw that photo was, oh, my God, you look like you're humping the leopard. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, so ready to see that. And they didn't air it. And I was like, oh. Was There's so a funny. lot of comments. Did, that did you like, say you were so I'm, ready to be that? To hear me. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. So from, oh, my God, it was so funny, though. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. But before <laughs> I, yeah, but, I mean, like, after I, after I, you know, got that out of the, out of my head, you know, him like humping a leopard, I really, really liked the photo. I think the photo is really strong. I think it's awesome, and I agree with um, who, who was it? Like some of the, I don't know. One of the, one of the judges really, really loved it. I agree with whoever that was. I can't remember. I believe it was <laughs> Rob. Probably Rob, yeah. Because yeah. he was like, you learned oh, how to use me, the Oh, me. I agree with Rob for once. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have something to add on? No. We can okay, go let's to go picture. to the next photo. And we have oh, Renee. Mama. Whoa, Mama. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I'm <laughs> just kidding. 
<laughs> Renee <laughs> looks good. I'm just going to be honest and say she's not great. She looks okay. I've seen Come better again. photos of her. <laughs> you want to say that again? Corey, I'm telling you, we need you in the studio. <laughs> now, you, now, Marvin, you. I wish I was there. Marvin, you and and Renee got into a little small tiff. Yeah. Because she wanted someone else to to do well and get best photo, and you ca you called her out on that, and you two got into this uh to this argument. Yeah. Do you stand by your um, after now seeing that her picture? Was, was not the best? Do you feel uh, you you feel you were right in calling her out? I thought I was being childish and immature, but that's just because I don't want her to be angry at me. But um, no, yeah, I thought because when it how it happened was Jeremy came in and was like, "Man, I think I want best photo," and he said a couple times, and all I did was smirk, like I didn't want to say nothing. But mm -hmm. she was like, "Jeremy, I don't know why he always wanted my approval or he just wanted to to hear from me because I was always telling Don like, "Oh, you got a good photo." So I don't know if he wanted to hear from me, like, oh, you got a good photo. But I was like, why would you come in here telling... Because he was the first person to shoot, mm -hmm. technically. So he shot, and he comes in. You come into a room full of models ready to shoot and say, I won best photo. We haven't even shot yet. So how do you know you got best photo? And Renee was just like, Marvin, you should, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you, if you, like he, maybe he did win best photo. You don't know. And I was like, why are you defending him? You should want to win best photo. Because to me, doesn't that make sense? That, Do you I think felt, it was subconsciously it wanting her to tell you you should have won Best Photo? No, and were you a, a little jealous the fact a, that she wanted Jeremy to I'm, win Best Photo? No. I'm Team Marvin on this one. Yeah. I think he should have. Okay. I think she should have just <laughs> not spoke. Sorry, I don't want to, you know. But I mean, I, I but think if, she a, if a girl has something on her mind, she shouldn't hold back just because, you but know. But why Jeremy? Why now? What's the point? Well, because go he's... Going on. Wait, we wait, wait, why, why now? Why now is a good point. Yeah, why now? Well, set. you guys tell it us. You were on the happen. show. <laughs> I'm saying, why now? Why are you going to defend Jer Jeremy out of nowhere? Maybe she just felt like, you know, you know he's new him. and he hasn't really done well and he's actually doing good and he's confident, so... But they didn't have the best of friends. They were not the best of friends. So oh, well, kinda... we didn't see that. She, He was peeking over, I'm so... I'm telling you right now, they didn't <laughs> have the best of friendship. Okay, well... Corey, what do you think? Maybe wow. some trouble in paradise over here? I just... No comment. I'm no, not Corey, interested Corey. in arguing <laughs> He gets annoyed of us. I don't care, all. honestly. That fight did <laughs> not have even happened. It was in the middle of, like, something way more important, and you guys yeah. should have been able to rise above and settle your differences. Sometimes I think that's the bad thing about the cameras being there, because it's like, it happened so fast, and it's like... Oh, they have to show that out of every. They can't but, but show the, honest, the moments no, that matter. They have to show even like the, the drama. There, even having like having the cameras there should just give you an incentive not to want to fight. But you know then, what that's, I mean? but then that's not re move. that's not reality TV. That's like you're being you're making choices. Not but it's living. not. Well, technically, it's supposed to be a contest, not reality TV, not to you know give people to. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying you you go in there with the intention of like I'm gonna live my. We're gonna do this competition without the. If you know the camera's there and you give in to the camera, then you're going to act different. And to me, then, okay, how do you that's act true. off camera? Then that's my question. If, if you're like, all right, say true. Don is like my best friend because the camera's there. He wants to seem sympathetic. But as soon as the cameras are off, he's like, man, get away from me. <laughs> I'll be like, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don. No, but I'm just being truthful. Uh, I love Renee, and um, you know, <laughs> I'm, just uh, I'm I have my sides who I want to win from the girls and the, from the guys, and from the girls I want Renee to win. But she did not deliver for me in this photo. Her face is too weak. She doesn't. She seems a little bit confused. Her with her eyes, it's not strong like the previous photos we've seen. And if you look at her hand, the way she's trying to touch the leopard she's afraid but she's, she's going for it anyway yeah. so you could tell from the whole photo and her body language that she was really afraid to be next to the leopard i can't i can't comment or speculate <laughs> for my own safety okay. for my own safety okay uh, let's go on to the next on. photo <laughs> we can... oh wow Chris's this picture is a little cut up. off but uh Mar um cory we have chris h on the the screen and okay. I'm not going to speak. I'm going to let you guys take no, this. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to get attacked on Twitter. <laughs> Bam. Uh, I don't like it. Okay. Uh, Everybody follow Don. I mean, follow Bam on Twitter so you could, you know, attack him. <laughs> um, Corey? Uh, 
<laughs> okay, I mean, fine, I'll go. You want me to you, go? I mean, like, you, I don't, you really don't even need to, like, that. I'm sorry, Chris. I just have to, I'm sorry, Chris. This is my apology to you. Um, you know, I don't like it. I don't really, I'm not getting anything from it. You know what I mean? No energy, no, I just, bleh, you know what I mean? It's just blah. But, I mean, that is my opinion. And like I said, a lot of Chris's fans would probably love the shot. And they have every right to, go ahead, do not attack me on Twitter again. They're, they're going to attack you like much. Well, you Can know, I say something about this real quick? Chris's Twitter fans attack every yeah, member. Yeah, what's up with his <laughs> fans? They're so mean and rude, and my fans are not, and your fans are not. His fans are like, <laughs> angry well like you know angry. I, there's i just want to clear it up that everyone is entitled to their own opinion and we completely understand but we also want you guys to know that we are judging these pictures and not the person the, yes we're judging the pictures not the person so don't take it offensively. Mm. Don't take it personal if we make a comment on this show. Uh, we love all the contestants on the the show, and yeah, ultimately, nice. whoever wins, uh, you know, is the one that has the best photos. And it's unfortunately, it's not up to you or me. It's up to the judges and the panel. So we just have to live with whoever wins. But everyone is amazing and great to be on the show to begin with. So I just want to clear that up. But yeah. And this I mean, it's not as mama. if, and it's not as if, like, I particularly, I don't like that picture, but he's taken way other great pictures. Exactly. So because I don't like one pick, you know, it is what it is, but. I just, yeah. I'd rather Don has stayed. That's just my thing. Well, you know, obviously. Even if it meant me going home, Aww, I'd rather have sacrificed that myself. That's too I nice think of I told you. Tyra, I said, Tyra, can we reverse that notion? And she was like, child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the. Are you jo are you for real? Oh no, I'm just joking. Okay, I but I was I was very upset, and I think next episode you'll see how upset I get because I was just like he had a better picture. Wow, but you know I'm not actually fond of the the makeup they put on the on the models and on you guys as well. When Tyra uh, mentioned something about the makeup being bad, I think that's when everybody knows the makeup was bad. Because even in my picture, she was like. It's not you pouting, it's the makeup. So it's like, I think they oh, they had too much fun with the makeup. I think Chris's makeup looks pretty good. I think they could have done without the heart-shaped no, blue. Don't, I think your makeup was better than his. You the, think so? The, yes. I don't like the, the blue uh, eyebrows. I don't like the, the blue lips. And I keep on saying it every single episode when they... When you guys have a photo shoot, yellow is not his color. Yeah, I do not know why they yellow. keep on putting yellow on him because he's already light skinned. He has blonde hair. Putting yellow on him, it's you know, it blends in too much with yeah. him. There's nothing wow or popping popping um, mm -hmm. ab about it. I think they should have chose a different color, um, a different animal maybe. But I do have to agree that it looks like last week's photo where he's just standing there and yeah. hoping that they take yeah. the best shot. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see anything significant about the picture where Kelly had to fall in love with it and a give him a nine. That's yeah. insane. Well, for a nine. All yeah. right, let's go to the next photo. Hey. We have Don with the Python. Team Don Benjamin. Um, you know, <laughs> as you said, I originally loved this picture. Uh, his face, his expression, I think he had a very strong delivery. And then as soon as Tyra spoke, yeah. I was looking then at it. Then you see it completely, because it's true. I was like, Don's picture is <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, and then they start mentioning the the length and the, his neck, and then you start to look at it different. But I think it's because I have a bias. It's always going to be a 10 for me. But <laughs> I guess because Tyra said it was bad, I guess. No, I, I was, you I honestly like thought, you know, from the beginning that this picture was great and he, he had a great delivery. He was able to, you know, uh, include the python and um, be one with the, the python. He His face is strong. His neck and shoulder, uh, I don't really agree with Tyra. Maybe, you know, sh from years of experience, she's looking at it from a completely different point of view, but to us viewers um, who don't have the years of experience that she does, this picture to me is a 10. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bam, everybody here agrees mm -hmm. it's a 10, I think, for the most ba part. Bam doesn't. Yeah. Well, why not Bam? Bam? What um, do you think? I do think, his picture is I do think his picture is better than Chris's, but also Don is also light-skinned, so he has, he has the yellow uh, snake, he has all, like, if it's not... Um, because of the black eyeliner around his eyes is what really makes his face pop, but he kind of blends in as well. Yeah. But I do think the picture is better than um, um, 
But he has, look at the, the green net uh, shirt, and then he has the the plant, the green plants in the back that gives it a color in the background. That wasn't the case with Chris. Mm -hmm. It was just an open um, open space. Right, and so I do feel his picture is better than Chris, but I don't, I don't love the picture because, again, he's also light-skinned, and he somewhat blends. Well, we could agree to disagree, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, but I get what he's saying, like, <laughs> because it's so one color that you can't really see the features like maybe if they didn't use the makeup his chin would have popped more and maybe they would have put him in a different color yeah and then his hair is blonde is also yeah and his hair is blonde yeah. again with chris like yellow on yellow uh, true but um you know i i personally like the photo uh from compared to the rest of the photos that were taken compared to like corey's or something yeah corey was amazing don't even go there Okay, Thanks moving so on to I the next photo. Sure he's still on, on the line. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Oh. And guess what, who we have? Oh we my have God. Marvin. Um, well, Corey, we, let's say, what, what, what do you think? What do you think of my picture? And remember, I know where you live, so go ahead. <laughs> Are you, you're, you're asking me? Yeah. Um, okay, I really, really like your pose, and I think with the styling and the makeup that you were given, you did a really, really great job. And that is, this is a prime example of modeling through it. Okay, so I, I was, yes. Good, good job, Marvin. Thanks, Corey. This was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you got him a little emotional over here. I'm um, not going to cry on, on After Buzz. Oh, please, don't cry anymore. We've I'm seen just, it enough. I have not cried That'll since the show. That'll be in the, the confessional. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like the photo as well. Um, and what I was talking about, the makeup, as you could see, you don't have anything on your forehead. And the colors and even the shirt that they chose for you is completely different and it makes it stand out. Uh, where, you know, with Chris, the, an the bird and the animal was the one standing out. But with you, it's like, okay, we're, 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 not, we're right next to each other. We're pals, you yeah. know, I, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. So I like the photo, Bam. What do you think? You don't have to be nice just because yeah, he's sitting next to you. I don't love the picture, but <laughs> what I do like is you you look mad different. Like you look you look like a 16-year-old. You look mad young and I think it's yeah, you look young. I mean, just the hair, you look different and that's what that's what I do appreciate the picture is when you go from photo from uh, from week to week. That photo does not look like you in other photos. Yeah. So it gives a it gives a uh, um, you a broader range in um, in your versatility. But I don't know. For me, I, I think I think for me, with all of the guys' pictures, just the over uh, the, the overage of the makeup for me just kind of overdoes it for me. But I mean, I don't I don't think it's your best picture. But I think it's yeah, cool because you look mad young. I don't even almost recognize you. I feel like the guys had more makeup on their face than the girls. Mm -hmm. I think, yes, honey. I think I, they had too much. I like, was like, am oh I God. in drag again? What is going on? You are not complaining about that, Corey. <laughs> I know. I love makeup. I am a makeup yeah. boy. That is true. He's not lying. I think but. it's also about the country, like the, like in LA where we were shooting before, um, you had a different sense of makeup and you go to a different country where it's completely different mm -hmm. makeup artists and they don't, not necessarily don't know how to put makeup, but. I think their makeup style in the United it's States different. is different. completely different. So to try to work that kind of makeup from coming to like working this kind of makeup, mm -hmm. it's like completely different. And it, that's why it just looks so weird because it's a different country kind of makeup. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I don't you know, know. It, I, I don't even know. Yeah. Exotic. And yeah, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's yeah. just we don't, uh, we're not used to it. As I think even as viewers, you're not used to seeing that kind of makeup. True, true. Unless you're Corey and you do drag yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you just changed my perspective. <laughs> okay, let's go on what? to the next photo. Uh, uh, you know, I just wanted to give you guys some sneak peeks into the episode where um, there were a lot of emotional moments Get going off my on. Mans. <laughs> and we see Jeremy <laughs> trying to take over your spot yeah. over here with Dawn. And um, moving on to the next photo. This is some of the bathing suits that we had on the models. Um, when the the challenge was introduced or after the challenge and this is you guys at panel um, and I put this so we could s show what Corey is wearing but we can't see your shoes Corey um, I didn't mm -hmm. think the outfit was bad me neither um, I thought it was if perfect you look for the at, weather it was really hot if so. you yes it's very like Miami type of you know let's just go down to the beach um, 
type of look. And Thank look you. at Jeremy in the back. He's just wearing a white V-neck and black pants. I'm not a model. That's something that I wear. <laughs> a V-neck? Yeah. I, he, yeah. Didn't, he didn't look like a model like Corey. I thought what you had on was 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 great. Um, I really like what Nina wear, is what Nina, Nina's wearing. Yes. Both the two, all three of the girls were very fit and in form with um, the destination they were at. So I did like the how the girls were dressed. You guys were just dressed casual, normal, casual, yeah. because it is a... It's super hot, one. And then two, it's like, we're not as... Maybe we don't want to dress up, because we're, we're... Mind you, we're waiting for a long time. You don't want to be like... Yeah. You don't go through all the trouble. Dehydrate. Yeah. You're, you're, you're had to dope, too. Yeah. Oh, thank you for doing yeah. like I also feel like my version of dressing up would be so much more similar to... I don't know, it's more of like a feminine man, like more like... Like, if you see the stuff that Brian Boy wears, like, he's very, like, you know, over the top with what he wears. But because I was constantly pressured to appear masculine, I feel like that sort of watered down my fashion on the show. So I do want to, you know, <laughs> apologize to all my queens out there because, you know, in hindsight, I'm like, I should have just flown the freak flag, worn the skinny jeans, and just, like, you know, whatever, like, worn, you know... A little Be more you. high fashion, a little more risky yes. things, but because I was like, I need to look like a, I need to look masculine, I need to look, quote unquote, like a man, whatever that means, you know what I mean? Corey, can we just uh, discuss that just for a little bit? How did you feel when you were told in, fo in photos how you need to look more masculine? Do you feel like you had to be different or, or, or come be outside of yourself because there was always the pressure you don't look mat you know you don't look masculine enough do you how did you feel about that absolutely there was a certain level of discomfort that went with it you know um and i think that this is sort of it was like a lesson for me mm -hmm. i sort of learned a lot about the entertainment industry and how male femininity is sort of masked in it and i'm not quite sure why but you know we're still dealing with that and a lot of people are pressured not to be themselves in order to be a success in the industry too so yeah that's definitely really really hard but i honestly i didn't take offense to it when the judges were explaining that to me because it's like i said earlier they were giving me the industry opinion which is what i needed to know if i wanted to be a success you know what i mean so that's like you know it's like it's sort of like about picking and choosing too so now I'm sort of trying to find like the balance between what is genuinely masculine, enough for me to go commercial, enough for me to be seen by people who maybe haven't been exposed to what I truly have to offer, which is fierce, flamboyant, feminine, feminine masculinity, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> it's fine. It's all about figuring out like where, where I sit, you know? And so, Corey, I know you can't give us much information until after the show airs, but what's in the what's in no. the near future for you right now, um, as far as um, modeling or any other aspects that you're you're doing now? Since you've um, you now have a name uh, due to yeah. um, being on America's Next Top Model, I but, actually can't tell you too much information. You'll have to wait and see. Okay. Um, because I got a lot of great things in store. You know. Okay. You can rest assured I have a lot of really, really great things in the works, a lot of great things in store. And also, really Corey to sings, too, so I don't know. Wow, yeah, maybe we'll a have singer. a duo he always, with like, Dawn. Right, like, great, during... great, Marv. Well, <laughs> well, we, yeah, heard, that is, we heard you so sing. That something else that's like a total side project. Don't worry, we won't put you on the spot and ask you to sing 15 oh. seconds for us if you like. We're not going <laughs> to put you on the spot and do that. Of course not. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, Silence. Can you give us a snippet? Snippet. Come on, we're waiting um, over here. I don't know. What do you want to hear? <laughs> Anything. The top song right now. Just What's your favorite? Something quick, because we're we're running out of time. But just if you can just give us something, if you like. Okay, I'm just gonna make up an After Buzz song. Okay. Awesome. Oh, okay. oh, all right. Sitting on the phone on After Buzz, mugging, mugging quick as on the other line, talking on the phone to After Buzz, <laughs> and. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Amazing. That, that was amazing. Thank you for that that new After Buzz rendition. Yes. Um, we love time. it. I always love it. I think we got to get you in the studio to record that, so that could be our opening now for After America's Buzz. Next Top Model. <laughs> 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 well, to close it up, guys, uh, this top the top uh, photo for this week was Nina, and Renee is runner-up. Mm. 
Um, the bottom two, we have uh, Don and Marvin, and Don is eliminated. Mm. Um, we're really sad to see him go, but we know he's working on great, amazing projects, uh, which we'll see in the near future. Um, we wanted to thank you so much, Corey, for joining us on the line today. Let our uh, listeners know uh, where they can find you on the social media. You can follow me on Instagram at Corey Wade Hindor, and you can follow me on Twitter at Corey W4DE. Marvin, where can our viewers find you? Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marvin Cortez One. And real quick, I just want to give a shout out to all my fans that tune in and watch. And I just, I love you guys so much. And I know you guys watch and send me so many nice comments. So I just want to give you guys a shout out, just because last time I didn't get to. But I love you guys so much. Bam. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Bam Erickson. And you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Real Emma K. And don't forget to log on to Emma K's Closet and check out all the new fashion and trends. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.